episode eight, John Bonet case, more clues. In this episode, we're going to look at one, packing peanuts and leaves that were found where John Bonet's body was found. Two, a piece of broken glass on top of the suitcase. Three, broken paintbrush particles. And four, John Bonet's bed. This first illustration is a top view of the three-story Ramsey house. To the right is north and to the left is south. The large house addition is at the top and above that is an alley for entering the garage. The basement is only below the front part of the house and is not that large. In this picture, you can see the broken window is in the back of the house and the storage room, wine cellar, where John Bonet's body was found is located in the front left corner of the house. This picture shows crawl space that I don't believe can be entered from the basement. With this final illustration, we can see where everything is located clearly now. The boiler room where the hot water heater is located is a very important location because I believe this is the murder location. It contains remnants of the paintbrush used for the garage and Patsy's paint case. I was surprised by this, but they were packing peanuts and leaves, a small amount located in the wine cellar where John Bonet's body was located. And I think I know how they got there. Behind the house is where the grating's located to get into the the window, into the basement, and into the train room. Okay, after the grating has been removed, this is what it looks like on the left side, in the center area, and on the right side. And one thing you can tell clearly is if anything moved through there, it was through the middle window. Okay, now I'm gonna look at this picture closely. So if you look right here, you can see the packing peanuts and leaves right there. And then next thing I notice is a form of what looks like a little girl's body. You have right here, kind of the head, and then the body, and then up to the knee, and down here to the feet. I believe John Bonet's killer put her in a suitcase, took the suitcase and tried to put it through the window. It wouldn't fit. So they put the suitcase down, took her out of the suitcase and put her up in the window seal in the window well up there. But later thought better of it, got her back out of there and then took her to the wine cellar basement and left her there. And that's why there's packing peanuts and leaves in that wine cellar. Clue number two was a little piece of glass found on top of the suitcase. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this other than to say that shows that the suitcase didn't move from where it's at. Three, the remnants of the broken paintbrush in the boiler room indicates to me that that's where the murder took place. If the murder took place in the boiler room, right here, that's significant to me. Because if the person was strangling John Bonet right here at this location, and someone was coming down the stairs, and this door was closed, the person here would hear the door, this door opening and can easily get up and 
move over here and address that person. Do you follow what I'm saying? Down here in all the other rooms or other places, if someone came to the door or went through the door, they'd spot you. But here, you can actually hide back in here, hear the door open, and then go quickly and address the person before they get back here. The vent from the boiler room is right here. And there were reports that a neighbor heard a scream that early morning, which would make it quite possible. Number four, John Bonet's bed. To me, the bed just seems strange. The bed does not look like it's been slept in. For example, the pillow is not at the head of the bed. It is on the top of the cover. The covers are pulled back more than halfway and some of the clothing is on the bed. Supposedly, John carried her up and put her in bed and Patsy tucked her in for the night. It doesn't look like a tucked in bed or that somebody took her out of the bed. After looking at this more, it looks like that she was placed on the bed. Some of her clothes were taken off, like her sweater and her pants and that kind of thing, getting her ready. And then she was taken and moved away. Maybe to go brush her teeth or go to the restroom or maybe to get something to eat. And she never came back. So in conclusion, I don't think an intruder traveled through that basement window. The suitcase wasn't moved. John Bonet was killed in the boiler room. And her John Bonet was not tucked in for the night that night. This concludes this episode. And I enjoyed this episode. And hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm not sure what's going to be on the next episode.